Hi guys and gals, Froggy here. With the help of uh, a buddy of mine on the Corvette forum, I was able to put together this test. And the test is to figure out if this new meter that I got will actually record amp, milliamps. Uh, because of what I'm trying to do is check the drawer on my C6 Corvette in milliamps and the first thing everybody says you need to do is make sure the meter is working right so anyway long story short this wall wart, wart puts out well the input is uh, is 110 DC the output is 200 milliamps DC the input is AC I don't know if I said AC or DC input is AC the output is 200 milliamp DC so I put the meter in series I just took one of the charging cords one side of it split it open and put the meter in series with that and it's reading uh, about 150 which is probably about right um, this is like a 15 year old chargeable phone that probably has batteries that are are too dead to even charge I don't I don't know um, that doesn't really matter what this shows is that the the wall wart is putting out 150 milliamps and the meter is reading it so I'm going to try this with my fluke and then maybe one other meter uh, just for the fun of it since I've got everything set up and then I'll show you that so here's the fluke and we're plugged in we've got the same setup here now if I'm doing this correctly the power is on because we've got a, a reading DC out on this 200 milliamp range and milliamp reading out on this switch these switches this one and this one go in and out depending on what you're trying to do and I'm plugged in to the milliamp side so this re this meter is not reading I think it might have a blown fuse or something else is wrong with it so this is a good test. Let's see if I can get my other meter to work. Okay, well there's no battery in this uh, this other meter, but it doesn't look like it's corroded or anything, so I'll put a 9 volt battery in there and see what I get. Well, I put the battery in and this meter is letting the current flow through there, but I can't really get a reading on it. Uh, I've got, I've got it off right now. There's common. A, that should be amps right there, not there. DC amps, 300 range, right there. So I should just, I should be able to just turn it on. And it's going negative on me. So, I mean, it's reading something, but it's not. It's, I'll try this switch. It still goes negative. So, I don't know. Um, maybe if you guys can help me out on this particular... I think this is a Radio Shack. My Kranta. Isn't that a Radio Shack uh, meter? Anyway, why would... Um, why would it let let the juice flow through the meter? Right? I use these same leads that I had on the fluke because I'm missing a set of leads, I guess. So the juice is flowing through there. Get this out of the way. This is not in use. Alright? Juice is flowing because it's flashing. I should be able to get a 150 reading 
Unless this is broken here. Something broken on this here. Uh, so, give me a, a comment or a post if I'm doing something wrong on this one. Or if you think it's just broken. Uh, we know that one works. And we know that one doesn't work. I'm going to check the... Uh, Yeah, I'm going to check the fuse on that. Okay. So there is a fuse right there that is blown. I can just, I can see it. And there's a spare right there. So I'm going to, I'm going to check and see if it's the right one. I assume it's the right one. And see if I can swap those fuses out. Excuse me. There's also a big fuse here. Um, maybe I'll check that, pop it out and check it for continuity, see if it reads. Okay, I need two hands. Well, there you go. Now the fluke is working. It was that fuse. It's uh, 250 volt, 2 amp, I think. And uh, all we have now is a question on why this old analog meter wasn't reading anything. Uh, help me out, guys and gals, uh, unless it's just, you know, all these contacts could be just shot after all these years. Okay, so this will wrap it up. This is the end of how to read... How to test a multimeter to see if the milliamps reading on it will work before you actually put it to use. So I've got two now that work, and um, I'm going to try it on the Corvette. That'll be another video. Okay, give me a thumbs up or a like if this helps you out. Subscribe to my channel if you want more from Froggy. And if you want notifications of when I put up videos check that little click on the little bell next to um, uh, signing up uh, as a, uh, a viewer subscribing okay see ya froggy out bye I do want to show you one thing on this analog meter when I move the scale here right now it's on 300 milliamps, which should be this 30 scale here, right? So I think I should be getting 150. But when I move it, watch. Watch the needle. There. When I move it up to a different scale, it does actually move a little bit, even though it's going negative. See it move? So, I don't know. Talk to me if you know anything about these old uh, analog meters. Okay? See ya. It reads AC volts okay. I just tested it with AC volts. So, what do you think?